Thanks for joining Alibaba.com Learning Center. Today, we're going to talk about how to post products. Posting high-quality products is the first step for you to gain business opportunities. To build a great listing, you should put some thought into product names, keywords, photos, videos, and descriptions. Imagine you're driving on a highway. You must have noticed the billboard advertisement lining either side of the road. The first thing you might see is the product name and a clear image, which would definitely catch your attention. A detailed description, like product video, is a chance to let buyers imagine owning the product. Do remember, accurate keywords are key to help buyers find a product. On Alibaba.com, we use a product information score (PIS) to indicate the quality of the product. This score ranges from zero to five and is mainly based on the amount of detail provided. The more information you provide, including descriptions, photos, video, and certifications, the higher your score will be. A premium product means products with a PIS over four points. On Alibaba.com, premium products receive one more exposure in the search results and two more information upfront, which will accelerate your sales cycle. Now let's go through posting your products step by step. Please log into My Alibaba, then navigate to Products and click Post Products. To start, you need to pick the product category. It is important to pick the proper category as it helps the product show up in the correct searches by a buyer. To quickly find the right category for you, you can type in keywords associated with your products. Next, your product name and product keywords. Make sure you fill this section out accurately, as the product name and keywords are directly tied to how buyers will find you when they search for products on Alibaba.com. Some tips for you: Your product name should include the name and the type of product you're selling. We recommend including key specifications and attributes, model numbers, relevant certifications, and industry standard terms in the title. For example, if you're selling a red iPhone case, a good example of a name would be "red iPhone case for iPhone One." You should include relevant search terms that buyers would use to find your products. You have up to 128 characters, and you can separate your keywords with a comma. We recommend using as many keywords as possible for each product. The next section is your product attributes. This section is specific to your category, and each category will have different attributes. Make sure you fill all information in this section, as it's important to drive inquiries. Following your product attributes is your product description section. Here you need to add your images and product videos. Your images should be 640 times 640 and should be clear and easy for buyers to see. We recommend providing six images or at least three of your products with a white background as the main image, so buyers can easily understand exactly what you're selling. The next section is product details. By providing as much detailed information and selling points about your product will help increase interest from buyers. You can set up your product detail section into two different ways. The first is customized, where you pick which information you would like to showcase, and the second is through smart editing, where you have the ability to choose from different templates. The next section is trade information, where you set up your pricing, minimum order quantities, or MOQ, and payment options. A. For price setting, you have the ability to set a range of pricing options with different MOQs by selecting "Set Uniform Price of FOB" or just one price with one MOQ by selecting "Set One FOB Price." For example, if you wanted to set up your pricing by different MOQs, you would click "Set Uniform Price," pick the unit of measurement, then add your MOQs. B. If you do not want to show a range of pricing, you can select one FOB price. C. You can select which payment option you can process. Following trade information is your logistics section. You're required to put in your lead time, your closest port, and the amount of products you can produce during a given time period. For example, if you could make 5,000 units in a month of this product, this is where you would put that information. The last part of the logistics section is your packaging information and packaging description. It is important to add images here so that buyers can get an understanding of what the product will look like when they receive it. Before you click submit, please check your product information score. Simply click the product information score button. It will populate your score and let you know if any information is missing. Before submitting your score, please make sure your score is 4.0 plus. It can take up to 24 hours for your product to be approved and displayed as live. Remember, 
in the end, all this information are here to help you attract more of the right kind of buyer for your products.